talking about points scored. We've got two 1,000 point scores on the floor here tonight. Sarah Andrews for Baylor and of course Harmony Turner for Harvard. And we will get into the Turner story, the Mansfield, Texas native playing 114 miles from home. First game back in Texas. Well, Harvard starting out in a tough half court man-to-man -man defense trying to apply pressure to this Baylor offense. Not good movement by Baylor on this opening possession. Walker loses the handle, regains possession, fires it up to beat the shot clock. Well, nice team defense by Harvard forced Baylor into an errant shot on their opening possession. Harmony Turner, she'll have the keys to this offense all evening long. Uh, you can see Harvard right now, they're spreading that floor, trying to use their quickness and offensive ability. Turner, their leading scorer right there. For the first miss. And we talked about it. Here's Baylor. Pushing the tempo. Blackwell. Swings it to the corner. Edwards cashes in on the three. Well, Dre Edwards known as more of a power player in the paint. But how about that? Nice shot to open up the game for Dre Edwards. Transfer from Kentucky. Good look for Krupa off the mark. Walker pushes the tempo. Andrews loses it. Nice steal by Turner. Yeah, great hands by Harmony Turner that time, converting it to two. Keep an eye on points off turnovers. Easy, easy two for Harvard. We talk about Turner as a great offensive player, but how about that quick hands on defense? And another turnover, another steal for Harvard. Underneath the basket, finding a way to the hoop. White was fouled. Check that. We've got to travel. Edwards dumps it to Blackwell. Uh, terrific execution by Baylor there. That is so tough to defend. Take a look. Watch your this face up right here to the bucket, and you're going to see Asia Blackwell posting low. Blackwell misses the free throw. Edwards with the three and the nice dish. Part of all five Baylor points as Andrews knocks it out of bounds. Well, interesting quick substitution here. Bartley, the transfer from Belmont, coming in for Dre Edwards. Turner gets it back. Off the dribble, off the front of the iron. Oh, great hustle by Turner right there, getting her own miss. Baylor has got to block out better than that. No look pass from Rodriguez to the corner for Krupa. Locked at five. 7.13 left in the first. Walker drives and dishes. A nice job of spreading the floor by Harvard, trying to find that crease to drive to the bucket. Turner, three on the shot clock. Going to have to make something happen. The sophomore from Mansfield off the front of the iron, and here comes Walker into the forecourt. A nice judgment by Walker there, pulling it up instead of trying to force something. Andrews, the step back. Little Paige Bugs, that's what she does. Well, how about that quickness to the offensive glass by last year's freshman of the year in the Big 12? Sarah Andrews on the miss, but look at Little Paige Bugs come flying in there. Great athleticism prevails. Well, that Andrews miss was just the only miss in their last five attempts. Baylor, four of five in their last five attempts. But guess what? Yeah. Two of two from three is Harvard. Mulaney cashes in. Blackwell in front of the Harvard bench. Bullies her way to the hole. Boy, Baylor doing a nice job getting to the glass. I think it was a defensive error that caused that quick substitution. Mullaney to the hole with the one hand. A nice drive by Mullaney. Blackwell off of the feed from Walker is fouled. And these teams are going back and forth, 10-9 to 9 Harvard. Kind of put a governor on her. And we just saw Edwards, uh, you know, and Andrews, their, their stat line together. Asia Blackwell's missed her first two free throws of the contest. She's normally a very, very accurate. You can see Baylor once again going hard to the glass every chance they get. That's the game plan. Turner carried it. Terrific ball game right now. Big 12 against the Ivy League. Two teams picked in the top three of their respective conferences. Baylor, oh of their last four from the floor. Felder changes that. Nice drive by the transfer. 
certainly the charge that Nikki Collin was looking for. Turner loses Fauntleroy. Top of the key, they swing it. Glenn Bellow, Aaron pass. Harvard gets it back, and then Glenn Bellow makes up for her mistake. Boy, what a smart move by Rodriguez breaking to the basket as the bodies were on the floor. Little Paige Bug showing that body control. <laughs> Check this out, Pete. She has the second most shot attempts of any player in the nation. <laughs> She's attempted 79 shots in their first They fill it up. They can indeed. Turner with the 1,000 points in her career as you see her fight for the rebound. Edwards back in off the bench, grabs it. Andrews off the second chance. Too strong. Mullaney down low for Rodriguez who dumps it off. Blocked by Edwards. Mullaney says, I'll try it myself this time. Boy, look at them on the offensive glass. This is the biggest concern. Yeah, right on the charity stripe for Harvard. She's a very highly ballyhooed freshman, especially going to the offensive boards. 19 rebounds on the season. 11 of those coming on the offensive glass. Make it 12. They scramble for it. Turner comes up with it. We got a jump ball. Well, this is a physical right there in her second season, 20 and 12 record in her first year. And they'll have to settle into that role of Road Warriors, 11 of their first 13 on the road. From deep, Turner. Oh, good job by Edwards going a long way for that defensive board. Baylor was in a 2-3 zone then for the first time this game. Both ball clubs staying half court man to man, except Baylor last time was in a 2 3. Turner tries to shake Fritz. Now the first time she's got to play in the state of Texas since she left uh, Legacy High School up in Mansfield. Now she's averaging 20 points per game in their first four outings of the year. 22 last out against UMass and one more point for Baylor. Looking to end the dry spell. One of their last eight from the floor. Fritz controls. Well, Harvard's not going to give them anything easy, that's for sure. This is a very good defensive team. Baylor's done a good job of getting the ball inside and on the drive, but they're just not getting the finishes. 15 foul for Harvard. We're on the fifth foul in each quarter. Automatic trips to the free throw line. Turner transfers into the front court off the heel. Good rebound by uh, Danae Fritz. Long defensive rebound. Walker so quick with the ball in her hands. Underneath they go to Edwards. Nice look by Little. The sophomore's game is really rounding itself out when you talk about Little Page Bugs. Well, she was the freshman of the year in the conference last year and first team preseason selection by the coaches this year. Shot clock's at five. Turner moves on Walker. Off the glass, no good. Little Page Bugs brings it down. Maybe one last shot here for Walker. She'll try it. Knocked away. Well, transition defense is very good for Harvard so far. Nice job of stopping that drive. <laughs> Fritz hangs on to the pivot foot, finds Edwards. Second three try of the clinging to a two-point advantage. Nice defensive blocking out by Harvard that time on the miss by Edwards. A good on-ball defense, Jada Walker on Turner. Rodriguez losing the defender. And I've always got to double check my pronunciation on this. Vasconcelos. There you go. You got it. One to make sure, partner. <laughs> Better you than I me. Did, I just call her Letty. <laughs> Use that left hand wisely. From Letty to lefty. <clears throat> wow, Turner. Nice move. Drops it off for Rodriguez, who puts it in. Or oh, Rodriguez moves so well without the basketball. Just a real knack right there, breaking behind the Baylor defense. Jada Walker finds her Kentucky teammate from a little while ago. Now they're teammates again, enjoying some success at Baylor. Lead is five. Now the scouting report on Dre Edwards. She's going to hurt you more inside than outside, but right there, Baylor all the way to the rack. No offside help coming. Turner, like a surgeon, needed that. Just her second field goal of the afternoon on nine attempts. Here's Fritz. Good look at a tray. Now she's a good shooter. She's got the green light. The transfer from Iowa State, sophomore. She was on the all-freshman team for the Big 12 last year. 
Nice head fake to the hole. Strong move. Baylor out of position defensively, and Letty Vasconcelos could not get there quick enough. Edwards makes the extra pass. Fauntleroy knocks it down. Hit some outside shots. That last shot by Bella Fauntleroy, of course, is three of this five-point advantage. But Baylor's got to do a better job with these uh, Harvard players cutting hard to the basket. Speaking of which, the freshman White. Yeah, good job. There we go. He was out of his seat. (laughs) You've got better peripheral vision than I do. I'm doing good to see the court, partner. You're seeing people on the table. (laughs) Blackwell. Seeing Walker clearly. Walker to Fritz. Three. Knocks it down. Was on the all-freshman team in the Big 12 last year. She and uh, Little Paige Bugs, both on the floor for Baylor, had that designation. And Bella Fonelroy, three first-team all-freshmen on the floor right now for Baylor. Turner. Wow, falling away. Confidence. She can be smooth and she can play with grit. Fritz trying to make it two in a row around and out. Fritz, feisty defense, poked it away from Mulaney, who regains possession. Rodriguez directs traffic. Back to Turner. Boy, what a matchup this is, Walker and Turner. Walker seems to win that one. Shot clock winding down, knocking down. Well, take a look at Turner now, getting to that baseline, somehow (laughs) getting around Fauntleroy and kicks it out to the wide open Mulaney for the finish. She went between Fauntleroy's legs. I missed that in real time. As we keep saying she is a special talent. We're seeing all of it here today. A young lady from Mansfield, Texas. Putting on a show for her fan base that Ooh. made the trip. Walker can't make the shot. We've got a stoppage of play and a whistle. Offensive foul on Baylor. Baylor just has one team foul. Harvard has two here in the second period. Oh, good cut. Poked away by Walker. Into the open court. Finishes. Ninth turnover forced by the Bears. Turner between her legs, working on Fauntleroy. Hoist it. Well, this young lady is responding to 30 or so folks from her hometown here this afternoon. Walker. Hey, Walker. Acrobatic. Walker says, Turner, if you can do it, I can do it better. And she came right back. Great drive by Jada Walker. Quickly becoming a fan favorite here in the Farrell Center. Oh, nice job by Walker. Now three for three from the free throw line. Baylor has been to the charity stripe uh, eight times now to only four for Harvard. Right, the freshman kicks it to Turner. Shot clock winding down. Turner from the hip. Boy, that young lady is some kind of talent. She can do it in every phase of the game. Long distance, quick drives. The Texan says, I'll turn this into a shootout. Right out of the holster into the hoop. Little Paige Bugs spins. Can she finish? She can. Yeah, she finished tough in traffic. That's what she does best. Use that long body of hers to slither between the defenders. Speaking of slithering, Turner absorbs contact and will head to the free throw line. 14 points already, 5 of 12 from the floor. 2 of 2 from the charity stripe. Well, you can see why uh, quickly why she has the second most shots of any player <laughs> in the entire country. She is the offensive machine for this Harvard ball club. Had a chance to visit with her briefly before the ball game. Very personable, very happy to be here, she said. Relatives and neighbors and longtime high school buddies all here today. First trip back to the Lone Star State for her. She had circled this one on the schedule. Little Page Bugs tries to cross it over. Regains possession. Top of the key to the floor, General Walker. Playing point guard for her first year after playing the two at Kentucky. Two more points for her. Boy, it's the Walker against Hunter show so far here this afternoon. What a battle. Two cat quick guards out front on each other. Yeah, moving pick right there. 
Richmond, Virginia native, getting that opportunity to run the show here as the floor general for Baylor. And she's done a nice job so far. Andrews has it poked away. Well, they've got quick hands. Turner is really giving Sarah Andrews a hard time. Speaking of yeah. hard. Yeah. She could have added routine rough basketball play. <laughs> we were yeah. talking earlier, Coach, about how, how, how in the world you tried to stop Clyde Drexler and Hakeem Olajuwon. We didn't. <laughs> yep. Ten on the shot clock. Uh, Baylor in a 2-3 zone this time. and Nice job by Dre Edwards. Five on the shot clock. Andrews finds her way out of a double team to Little Page Bugs. He kicks it to Edwards. Looking for her third tray. Harvard can hold for the last shot. Turner across the timeline meets Van Guytenby. Van Guytenby calls out the screen and the switch. Little Page Bugs on Turner. Mullaney going to try and finish the half strong. Well, that was not a good job by Dre Edwards. They know she's the best perimeter shooter and Edwards was slow getting out there on defense they often ask her do you ever sleep <laughs> <laughs> she watches games whenever she's awake uh, Euro leagues overnight and she'll yeah. tell you about that uh, too yeah. second half action underway and we start the second oh. half like we started the first with Asia Blackwell can get her shots blocked in there yeah that time by the 6-2 Rodriguez from Spain Blackwell Tried to wheel oh. in now, and she does. Rodriguez trying to answer. Left hand, no good. Good help by little Paige Bugs coming over to help on that mismatch. Walker from in front of her own bench. Nice oh, job. What what a a she should have had an assist. Little Paige Bugs has got to be able to make that shot. Glenn Bella. Paige Blackwell, who got fouled, only player in foul trouble for Baylor with three. Dre Edwards has two. Edwards. Oh, what a nice shot. Smart play by the senior leader for Baylor. Last year's first team all-conference selection, Sarah Andrews. And off the camera, confusion between Rodriguez and Turner leads to a turnover on the inbound. Yeah, that's very, very rare, but she stepped across the line as she tried to get it in. Baylor needs to take advantage of this opportunity right now. Uh, Harvard, for the first time today, is kind of in a status of flux but how about Dre Edwards 10 points in a row for Baylor now to start this second half biggest lead of the night for Baylor 10 to nothing run here in the third quarter yeah. Turner finally ends the yeah. drought surprise surprise who do you go to when you got to get a bucket young lady that's taken the second most shots in the nation Andrews inside for Edwards did it from the outside now from the inside spinning the hey, two what did I talk about get the ball into the paint that's what you've got to do right there they can't guard her one-on-one -on -one. excuse me while I give you a lecture partner <laughs> he has got to get it in there take advantage of those one-on-one -on -one matchups and Edwards can do it Rodriguez with the spin off the window. Right there. Walker to Edwards, who throws the needle underneath for Blackwell. Yep. This you think is a well, well coached Harvard team. That was a beautiful defensive rotation. And that could play big because she has got eight points on four. Or five. Nice fake, head fake. Yeah, Dre Edwards has got to stay on the floor out there. White can't convert after the crafty head fake. And Little Page Bugs finds Edwards on the other end in front of her own bench. Too strong. Well, Blackwell tried to get offensive rebound in position, but Rodriguez did a great job for Harvard. Now, this team's not going to go away. They've got a lot of firepower. Mullaney hitting another one from that left wing. Well, they have the reputation for being smart for a reason, and we just saw that play out on both ends of the floor as Andrews lowered her shoulder and went between the two defenders, got the easy look at the basket. The confidence is not lacking for Sarah Andrews. Inside, Rodriguez knocked away by Andrews. Late whistle. <laughs> Little Page Park says, you're fine. Come on over here no, with me. They just called a foul on uh, Sarah. Uh, don't want to give a team like Harvard anything free. But here it is. Coming up on Thanksgiving and Christmas, the freebie, the gift, rolls out for Turner. Can't take advantage, she'll get another one. No sense whatsoever. 
You know, Turner is a uh, 87% free throw shooter, and uh, Baylor's fortunate she just made one out of two. Boy, Turner has been fun to watch today. Yeah, she's put up 18 shots. She's the game's leading scorer by far with 18 points, but uh, taking a lot of shots to get there. Mulaney. Rodriguez with three on the shot clock yeah. carries. That was nice defense by Bella Fauleroy that time. Not been her forte in her young career to be a great defender, but that time sliding her feet very, very well against the tough matchup of Mullaney. Andrews across half court. Drops it off for Edwards. Edwards likes what she sees matchup wise. Oh. Off the window for two. Oh, Dre Edwards just knows how to op operate. How about that soft touch? That was hard shot. That was over two defenders. Turner, she's electric, but Fauntleroy turns off the power. Came into the game. Harvard three and one on the year. She came in averaging 20 points per game. Also came in having taken 79 shots, so that's almost 20 shots per game. That was the stat of the night. You said Caitlin Clark, the only player in the country to attend more. more. Yeah, she uh, had 32 shots in that loss to Kansas State the other night. It'll stay here as they'll say Little Page Bugs or Andrews hit it last. Oh, nice job flashing into the middle of that zone by Rodriguez. Outside the Bolini. Still up by 10 with two and a half to go in the third. Mullaney takes it away. Finds herself to the right side of the hoop. Baylor tried to hand it off today. Don't have very many turnovers, but Harvard well versed on how to defend that. Just jumping in and getting the easy pick. Cowboys fans hoping up the road that Prescott and Pollard are getting cleaner exchanges. Mullaney, the senior from Rumson, New Jersey. Six out of six free throws in the last two minutes against Utah to help pull that upset. As a coach, that's got to drive you bananas. Oh, it, worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, foul on the floor. Uh, just a couple of points a game, but very good defensively. A freshman from Burbank, California. Oh, Speaking nice. of Hollywood. Getting the ball inside to Bella Fauntleroy. Key there. Fauntleroy shaped up and held her position on the block. Hope we can get a relook at that. Turner says, I bet you gracious. get a look at this. Now, better trying to get the last shot of the third period. We've got a whistle and a foul on Baylor. Yeah, Offensive I think foul. they got a uh, legal pick. Fauntleroy, seven points on three of five shooting. Been very efficient. Turner, three on the clock. This is going up with the right hand around and out. No good. So nice, uh, nice third quarter for Baylor, but can they protect this 10-point advantage against this very feisty Harvard team? And nice halftime adjustments by Coach Nicky yes, Collins. Yes. You said it too. They got yeah. 28 points in the paint now to Harvard's 18. They have taken advantage inside. Mullaney. Working on little page bugs, working a little too hard there. Off the glass, too strong, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here. Four on the shot clock for the Crimson. Mullaney gets it back. Deep three. Splash. Yaya yeah, 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 Felder back on the floor now for Baylor for the first time in a while. Blackwell for three. Yeah, Way not, off. Yeah, not a good shot. That's not her best shot. They can't rush into shots right now with an advantage. They've got to work hard. Get past to Mulaney. Rodriguez on the block. Working on two defenders. Finds Turner. Turner with the extra pass to Krupa. With her ability to score points, but she's very vocal with her teammates as well. Little Paige Bugs. That's that shot you say yeah, she has to make. That. She's already special, <laughs> but she can be more special. <laughs> Coach Collins says, hey, I'll give her the green light to shoot threes, but she's got to make that 15-footer. She did there. Turner. 6.50 left. Her team trails by six. Rodriguez from Spain to the basket to oh, two. How about that nice, strong bucket over Bella Fauntleroy that time. Rodriguez, great move to the basket. That was good basketball. Andrews floats it for Blackwell. Blackwell. Knocks it down. 
she almost got fouled, and uh, she she has a, a confidence in her game right now. Aaron pass from Rodriguez. 17th turnover for Harvard. 10 for Baylor today. Blackwell in rhythm. Moves to Andrews. Bears try to extend a seven-point lead. Andrews way off. Well, she was, I think she was couldn't make up her mind whether she wanted to shoot it or pass it. Good job by Felder on the defensive end. Felder so fast with the basketball. Finishes for two. Well, Felder did that twice against Utah. This time putting Baylor back up by nine. Nothing like aggressive play to be a difference maker. Nine-point advantage for Baylor. Turner trying to stop the bleeding. 5.25 left. She slices and dices and finds Rodriguez, who was draped by two Baylor Bears. And will go to the free throw line. Boy, watch y'all. Y'all felled her back defensively. She just says, hey, there's 94 feet. I'm going to go the whole way. Nice finish off the glass for the transfer from Ohio University. And on this NFL Sunday, that was a pick six. And Rodriguez at the strike for 7 of 11 today for 63%. Rodriguez will try and improve on that statistic and does. They've got to eliminate the turnover. 17 is too many in a game this tight. To give Baylor a lot of credit to forcing those with their pressure defense, but Harvard's best success has come on three-point shots. Blackwell eludes two defenders and finds Felder. Felder with the Pistons always pumping. Drops it off for Little Page Pub. Boy, how about that drive by Felder? Great pass. That's a tough, tough thing to do. Move that quickly and get that little shovel pass under the defense. There's what Harvard does best. Baylor, four of their last five baskets have gone now, in. I'm saying they could jump up as high as if they win here today, 12 to 14. Six or seven spots. Felder leaves the floor with her fourth foul in 10 minutes. So that's kind of the look at the underbelly to that. Well, Dre Edwards uh, still out of the lineup for Baylor. Lead is six. He was there for Harvard. Baylor needs to keep putting some effort into getting the ball into the paint. Oh, Blackwell, the hooping hard. Yeah. Slide behind, giving her the opportunity to either jump up and shoot it or take it to the rack. Nice finish by Aza Blackwell. Putting on a clinic, and she actually will put Rodriguez out of the game with her fifth foul. Well, Blackwell's missed three free throws today. Let's see if she can get back on track, and she does. Nice possession for Baylor. Back to a nine-point advantage. And there's Rodriguez who finishes with 11 points. Now, Baylor has three team fouls. They do not want to get up to that number five mark where Harvard gets three trips to the free throw line. Got to be smart defensively. Let's see what Turner has left up her sleeve. Mulaney whips it down low. Foul is called, and Zaric will head to the free throw line just into the game. 6-2. She's from Serbia. Played her first two years for the Indiana Hoosiers. Can trim the lead to seven. 3.09 left to play. Makes her first free throw. It's her first free throws of the year. Yeah, calmly knocks them down. Right back on the bicycle. Lead is now seven. Andrews flashes now, two. Now, when Baylor runs their offense and runs it efficiently, they are tough to guard. There's Sarah Andrews on the nice assist from Asia Blackwell. Mulaney working on Fontleroy. Nice old ball defense by Fontleroy. Glenn Bello is blocked, regains possession. In a little bit of trouble, she finds Mulaney, hoists the three. Nowhere close. Glenn Bello with the rebound, and her conversion attempt is no oh, good. Baylor very fortunate there. Gave Harvard two offensive attempts there off of long rebounds. Yeah. 
Big possession for Baylor. Possibly a chance to put it out of reach. Blackwell working on Sarge. She's been putting on a clinic. So Blackwell will shoot two. And both ball clubs have been to the free throw line about equal amount. Baylor's been 16 times, uh, 15 times. Blackwell. Uh -oh. uh, Blackwell both. now three out of eight from the free throw line. You just cannot do that in a tight ball game. You've got to come and make those. Turner going to make her pay. The floater is good. Season high for Turner with 26. Andrews pushes the tempo, probably tries to do a little too yeah, much. Baylor's ball. It will be Turner more than likely who can do it for Harvard. Uh, no doubt about that. Her and Mullaney, and they're both still in there. Blackwell among three members of the Crimson. And we've chronicled her struggles from the charity stripe, but her confidence continues to build after that season-ending injury last year. Yeah. Baylor's only missed six for the day. She's missed five of them. But how about that? Coming back tough. Fritz checks into the game and replaces Blackwell, who goes to the bench. 16 points for Blackwell, team high. Little yeah. Paige Bugs gets a big rebound. Yeah, nice job by Jada Walker. She is tough. Uh, Jada Walker's got that smooth, smooth release on her free throws. Perfect form. Breaks that left wrist just perfectly. Looking for double figures. Uh, what, a, what an addition she is to this program. Uh, this, this is one that went the distance. Well, this is a good Harvard team, you know. Uh, the Ivy League plays great, great women's basketball. Turner trying to get him back in. It can't count her out, and you yeah. can't count her team out. Yeah, of course, Baylor, the last thing they wanted to do was foul, and they didn't want to get up so tight on her that she could just drive to the bucket. 29 points for Turner. Sneaking to the basket yeah, is you, Walker. You talk about quick. How about that? 13 points now putting Baylor back up by 10. 40 seconds left. Krupa underneath. Nice feed for Zarich and a foul by Little Page Bug. Had her first two attempts of the season. One minute to go. Back again. <clears throat> well, I'm impressed with this Harvard team. It's going to be fun to keep up with the Ivy League for me now. To watch and see <laughs> how this team does. The SMU team I was talking about. They're coached by longtime Baylor assistant Toriel Wilson. In her third season there, has done a terrific job. Sarah Andrews shakes free and is fouled by Mullaney. Yeah, the women play in the quarters now and automatic free throws after five fouls each quarter. Had made ten straight. She'll be in there shooting free throws this evening, I bet. Mullaney the turnaround three, too short. Andrews with the rebound. And the Crimson keep the pressure on. Hey, this is a good team they're playing. It does not make any difference what you think of a conference. This is a good basketball team. Andrews, who eclipsed 1,000 points in the yeah. season's opener against Southern. Yeah, yeah, that's very rare. Triggers it inbounds. Yeah, who do you think they're going to get it to? Turner, of course, and... She's not going to be bashful about putting it up. Nice job by Sarah getting it out of traffic quickly. Coming up on 11 seconds, 10. Coach Moore calls off the dogs for the Crimson. And Baylor coming away with a 10-point win at home, 81-71. to And a game that could have been one of those quote-unquote trap games after a huge win against Utah, ranked fourth in the country. Coach Collin and the girls take care of business.